It's Thursday the 29th of July 2021 and I'm at Prince's Risborough Station to do a walk along the Ridgeway long distance footpath. I now need to make the short walk to join the Ridgeway. I'm now walking along the upper Icknield Way in Prince's Risborough. Very pleasant. Later the Upper Ignald Way becomes a track. Here's the first Ridgeway sign of the day. This part of the Upper Ignald Way is also part of the Ridgeway. And there it is continuing. The Ridgeway crosses this road and continues on the path ahead which is still the Upper Ignald Way. Confirmation we're on the Upper Ignald Way and the Ridgeway of course. The Upper Ignald Way is pretty wide at this part. As you can see from the sign the Ridgeway now leaves the Upper Ignald Way and goes right up this footpath. And along the path a pretty impressive view opens up ahead and to the left. And there is the path continuing of the Ridgeway. The path is starting to climb in earnest and there's a decent view looking back over Princess Risborough. Entering trees, there's a stepped section of path. We're in Brush Hill Nature Reserve and here's an information board. It's a bit of an awkward angle. And the climb after the information board is remorseless. At the top of Brush Hill there's a great view but it's turning very windy. There's also this view indicator on the top. On the Ridgeway I met these lovely ladies who I've been talking to oh, and they are happy to be on YouTube. Hi. <laughs> As you can see by the sign we joined this road for a short distance up there. We turn left off the road along this track. At this junction, the ridgeway bears to the right down there. Now heading through some dark woodland. Now at Whiteleaf Hill, passing a tumulus, a Neolithic burial mound. Another great view. now turns right down this path. Now heading down through Giles Wood. The path becomes quite steep. At the bottom of the descent the path continues through the wood. We now come to this gate in the path. On the gate is one of the acorn signs that signify national trails such as the Ridgeway. We now pass the Plough Inn at Cadston. After a short distance along an unpleasant road after the Plough, 
the Ridgeway turns right down here. We go through this gate to enter the Grangelands and Pulpit Hill Nature Reserve. We follow this grassy path through the Nature Reserve and that hill up there, that wooded hill, is Pulpit Hill. Now walking along this glorious valley. By the way, the Ridgeway does not go to the top of Pulpit Hill. I've just passed through a gate and crossed over a track and now I go through this gate straight ahead. Great view over to the left, just passing through the gate. And we're now following this clear path. Further on, there's this lovely view ahead. The path enters woodland and there's another stepped climb. We meet a sunken track and this fairly nondescript place is where the North Bucksway long distance footpath starts and it runs 35 miles to Wolverton on the outskirts of Milton Keynes. I walked it in the 1970s, believe it or not, but the Ridgeway, which we're following now, goes the other way, up here. About 30 yards from the spot of the last clip, we go up through this gate on the left. Great views. And we're heading down on a path that's apparently known locally as the Cradle Footpath. Now heading steeply uphill again, beside a fence. Just passed through a gate, now taking this clear path across a field. It's still quite windy. There's a very brief glimpse there of Chequers, the Prime Minister's country retreat. And we're currently walking along this wide path on the edge of maple wood. There's a better view of Chequers. Eventually the Ridgeway turns to the left and crosses this field. Confirmation, we're on the Ridgeway. Eventually we cross a road and head up this track. We cross this bride away, continue up there, and the South Bucks Way is a long distance footpath between Coombe Hill where I'm heading and it follows the Mishbourne Valley to Denham. We're now following the Ridgeway and the South Bucksway up through Goodmer Hill Wood. At this junction the Ridgeway turns left down there. We're now heading north through the woodland along the Ridgeway. Still heading north through the woodland. We're now following the edge of the woodland, still heading north. We come to this road and turn right along it. We turn left off the road along this path and as you can see we're following the South Bucks Way as well as the Ridgeway. And it's quite dark down there. Now heading through more woodland. At this gate the Ridgeway turns left and it's heading for Coombe Hill. The path in the last clip bears to the right and this fantastic view opens up ahead. 
it's still very windy. Still walking towards the summit of Coon Hill, which is one of the highest points in the Chilterns. Not quite the highest. There's a view of the 1904 Boer War Memorial on the top of Coombe Hill. Here's the view from Coombe Hill. Now starting the descent from Coombe Hill. We now cross this sunken bridleway, which is a bit of a surprising thing to see so high up on Coombe Hill. The continuing ridgeway descending from Coombe Hill. We're now coming to Bakum Hill. Obviously this is an information board, but it's pretty dark here. The ridgeway on Bakum Hill, there's some livestock grazing here. Nice grassy area on Bakum Hill, and here's the view. Quite a nice sentiment on the, on this bench on Bakum Hill. We certainly have gone for it today. More walkers over there. At this fort we take the left hand descending main path. Heading down to Wendover now. And the end of the walk. Descending along the ridgeway off Bakum Hill towards Wendover. The path becomes stepped. This time we're going downhill on the steps. We come to this road and bear right along it down to Wendover. Passing the shoulder of Mutton Inn at Wendover. Almost at Wendover Station. Now at Wendover Station and the end of today's walk along the Ridgeway Long Distance Footpath.